Hello, I'm Steve Hogarth from Marillion, and it's a great privilege and pleasure to be here with you on Loud TV. Loud TV. We are the new kings Sailing our seas With diamonds and gold We are the new kings We invented it. We were the first. It's in Wikipedia, so it must be true. Hard to leave. Well, no, not for us. I mean, it's been great. We, we have our fans globally. They look after us. They give us their money. They send us free gifts. Uh, we're very lucky. They make us free, creatively free. We are the new kings. Sailing our seas. Of course, yeah. I mean, a great many artists have to compromise what they do and how they do it and the kind of music they make for the marketplace, you know, for radio, for the A&R man, the record label, whatever, you know, and we don't really have to worry about that at all, you know, we don't, we don't have to give it a thought, so that's a great privilege. We are the new kings Sailing our seas Um, yeah, um be good and uh, try and make the best music you possibly can that you think you're capable of uh, try and write good words don't write rubbish um, and then um, make sure you write things that are true um, and be yourself don't try to be anybody else don't try and copy your heroes because they're only your heroes because they do what they do and you can't do that they can't do what you do be yourself um, and uh, yeah get your shit together go and do some gigs and make sure that you get the email addresses of anybody who, who digs what you do that's my advice we are the new kings Sailing our sea. I guess it, yeah, it's quite quite a, a a hard title, but it's not really meant to be. Strangely enough, when I sing it, I sing it very quietly and in falsetto um, in a song called "The New Kings," which is all about big money and how big money compromises our democracies. Um, it's about the Russian oligarchs and the bankers. And the people who are happy to exploit poor people without much conscience and will run off with their money. Um, it's the bankers, really, I was thinking of when I wrote Fuck Everyone and Run. It was about their, their attitude. Um, so it seemed like a good title for the album because there's another song called El Dorado, which is all about... Uh, England and my loss of faith in England and the sense that a storm is coming to England and my own shame about the way that that England has treated the refugees and failed to uh, accept them, failed, f failed to respond to the refugee crisis. Um, so in that sense we, we've kind of fucked everyone and turned our backs. Um, so there we are, it's a sad title, it's a, quite an angry title as well, but it's, it's not a punk title, it's not a heavy metal title. We're not trying to shock anyone, although we did, we did take certain devilish pleasure in, in, uh, in giving the album that title because we are getting old and it is our 18th album and we just wanted to let everybody know we haven't mellowed. We are the new kings Sailing our seas. Well, I don't know, man. We, we, we're kind of outside of everything now. We're outside of the music business and we're outside of, of all of it. We're like this little thing that just orbits the Earth, the planet Marillion. Uh, we don't really have anything to do with other artists or the business or um, anything else. We're our own little set of we're an independent planet with our own laws.
Duty uh, free. <laughs> we are the new kings Sailing our seas No, we worked with a guy called Mike Hunter. Uh, he's produced our last four albums and he's mixed a, a lot of our live stuff as well. So I really think he understands the essence of, of our chemistry and what we're about and what what resonates with our fans. I think he gets it better than I do because I don't really understand it at all. Um, and he had a massive input on this record. He arranged all his songs, he recorded it, he mixed it. I worked very closely with him uh, discussing the words and the lyrics of vocal performances. So he's the sixth member of the band in the studio for sure. We are the new king. Sailing our seas. I guess so on on and off, but we were touring as well, and we were doing like we were going to South America and touring there, and then uh, doing festivals and concerts. So we have worked on it for four years, but we've been distracted as well. well we did most of it at our own studio, the Racket Club. Um, but we also spent a little time at Real World, which is Peter Gabriel's studio in just outside Bath. We spent a bit of time working there as well. Um, that was um, that that was a big uh, benefit. We got a lot of work done there. When you've got your own studio, you don't spend much time there. You know, you're always thinking of an excuse to go home. Or someone turns up late. Someone wants to go an hour later and. Everybody's thinking about, oh, I got, I got to phone the electrician or the plumber or my wife wants to do this or go there and I've got to pick the kids up and it gets like that. So going away to a residential studio closes the door on, on the domestic life and focus entirely on the work. So th that's always a good feeling. And it turns us back into a gang again like we were in the old days, instead of being five guys with wives and kids. We are the new kings Sailing our seas It's very long, isn't it? Um, I wrote a lot of words, and so the, the songs had to keep getting longer and longer, because they'd get this long and then I'd say to Mike, I want to. I need to say this before I say this, and I, there's a bit more I'd like to say, so we'd put a bit more music in, and uh, it just got longer and longer each one. Um, so there's three 15-minute songs on this album, and and then there's two short ones, seven minutes. Um, so it is. It is quite a journey. It's a big ask, I think, for a listener in 2016 member of the iPod generation, to, to, to listen to a 16-minute song is, is a big ask. Commercial suicide. We must be out of our minds. Especially now If that. only we'd think. It's the kind of greatest hits culture now, isn't it? Everything. Not too many people want to listen to a, a journey, a piece of work. Uh, I mean, I haven't got an hour to listen to a piece of music, so I, I don't know why I should ask anyone else to. But. We are the new kings Sailing our sea It's not apocalyptic, but it's, I think it's kind of saying, you know what, I can smell something, I can smell an apocalypse just over the hill. Um, how about you? That's what it's really saying. Um, uh, it's about a sense of foreboding. There's a, there's a lot of foreboding in this in in this record, um, and a juxtaposition between, I guess, from my point of view, I have this comfortable life in this idyllic part of England, but at the same time, I'm very conscious of of what's going wrong in the world and what what's shameful about being English. I've been a bit ashamed of being English ever since the Iraq War, and, and I'm pretty ashamed with, with how we've responded to the refugee crisis and the camp in Calais. There are 187, 200 unaccompanied children in that camp, and I don't see why they're there. They should be in England. 
um, nobody should have to fill a form in to make that happen. It should just happen. Um, so I'm a bit angry at my own government, and uh, now we've got Brexit and all of that, and, uh, and I'm pissed off about that as well. We are the new kings Sailing our seas I mean, I don't know, I'm just a singer. But all I can do is, is write words about what I feel, you know, what's going on in here, what I'm being bashed around with every day by, by the news and, and by my life. Um, I don't know, I'm not Nostradamus, but uh, I've just got a feeling and I hope I'm wrong. But it smells like shit. <laughs> 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 I have the same impression. Yeah, you must be a poet. <laughs> we are the new kings Sailing our seas Nobody does it quite like we do it, that's for sure. We, we, we um, sell out uh, centre parks in Port Zeland and we have two and a half thousand people there for the weekend having a party. And we play Friday, Saturday and Sunday, three different shows seven hours of music and all kinds of other mad stuff goes on as well um, and then when we go to Poland we're gonna go to Łódź which uh, in Poland and play those three shows then we're gonna go to the UK and play them then we're gonna go to Santiago in Chile and do it do a South American one for the first time we, so we've never done one in South America or in Poland before the, these are both first so really looking forward to that Really looking forward to that. No bullshit, not lying. I may be a singer, but I'm not like the others. We are the new kings Sailing our sea. Yeah, we're going to America and Canada. Canada's great for us as well, especially French Canada. Very in love with French Canada, love Montreal and uh, Quebec. Um, and yeah, and then we're coming back, we're playing in the UK and then in Europe we come, we're coming to Paris, we play Elise Montmartre, don't know where that went, Elise Montmartre, um, on December the 10th, I believe. Someone told me it was sold out already, so that's amazing, thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup, mes amis.